Thank you. Many uh, of us who conduct uh, biomedical research do so with what could best be described as a religious fervor. And I think Mary Lasker would approve of that. She once told a reporter, I am opposed to heart attacks and cancer the way one is opposed to sin. Amen. <laughs> Seven months ago, uh, Justice Antonin Scalia died. He had a heart attack, which occurs when the flow of blood through one of the coronary arteries is blocked, cutting off the heart muscle supply of oxygen. Eight months ago, David Bowie died of liver cancer. Cancer cells invade surrounding tissue, find their way into blood vessels, and spread throughout the body. What are they searching for? My guess is oxygen. Over the last 25 years, we've tried to understand how a family of proteins, which we called hypoxia-inducible factors, enables cells, tissues, and organ systems uh, to adapt to changes in oxygen availability. As you heard, we started by trying to figure out how the erythropoietin gene is turned on when the body's deprived of oxygen. And now we know of over 2,000 genes that are regulated in a similar manner. Looking forward, I'd like to think that within the next decade, uh, there will be drugs which stimulate the activity of hypoxia-inducible factors uh, that will be used to treat anemia and cardiovascular disease, and drugs that inhibit these factors uh, will be used to prolong the lives of cancer patients. So if you will, this is my religious fervor. I'm filled with wonder at the outcome of four billion years of evolution here on our speck in the universe, and hope regarding our opportunity to improve the lives of those around us through basic science discoveries uh, and their translation to clinical practice. Well, I began with Mary Lasker, so I'll end with Albert. As you know, Mr. Lasker was a very successful advertising executive. He was in charge of accounts for products like uh, sun-kissed oranges and Pepsi and toothpaste before he and Mary began their campaign to promote biomedical research. Coincidentally, my grandfather also worked for an advertising agency here in Manhattan. His account was for a product called Wonder Bread. Thank you very much. <laughs>